You finally get home from school, expect your package, your hat, but it's in an envelope. What do you do? I guess it's time to restore it. So first off, just get this thing soaked. I mean soaked. A lot of the dirt will come out on its own just with water. So just give it a bath. You wanna get the inside and out. Uh, this one's a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna use some detergent. Probably not as much as I did, but uh, too much to never hurt anybody. So if your hat's like this hat, it may not wanna comply. So you're gonna wanna get him under the water. Don't let him up. He'll be fine after a couple minutes. You just keep the force down, he'll be fine. And there you go, you can uh, work on your hat now. Since this hat is pretty dirty, you're gonna wanna scrub with the toothbrush, uh, the major sweat areas. Just kinda get it as good as you can. Um, it might not all come out, but you know, a lot of it will. Now you just wanna rinse all that soap out. Um, just get it nice and clean again. I didn't, uh, focus too much on the inside. I clean it enough to the point where I know it's going to be fine to wear. But uh, yeah, so now that we've finished cleaning it, I'll show you how to shape it. I just did this one like moments ago, so let's see how it turned out. Pretty nice. This is going to be nice too. Pretty dirty though. I don't know if I should put it in my collection. Look at those babies. Say hi. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. So this part is just to get the, the fit, make it starchy, make it nice and firm. I use hairspray. I gotta stay true to that Tresemme. And look, I found out how to do hands-free. <laughs> now adjust your snap really small, like that. And then you're gonna wanna place it on a pot. If you don't have a pot, some people use a towel, um, but I find the pot way more effective and it's, uh, it's gonna work a lot better with the iron and all that. So uh, like I said, let's get to the iron and I'll show you what to do. So we're at the iron. This next part is kind of tricky. You're gonna to want to plug that in. Okay, you got that. Um, now you're gonna put a t-shirt on it. You want to place it and make it nice and uh, flush with the, the hat. You want to make sure you burn your hand. All right, so grab your iron. You're gonna to want to iron the top, iron the sides, pretty much everywhere you put the hairspray, in the front little, little panel there. That's the only area you really want firm. It's looking good. Notice the moth hole, but whatever. All right, let's walk. If you're impatient like I am, you're gonna want to speed up the process. So grab your blow dryer. Oh, and don't forget to close the door if it's really late. Sorry, mom. <laughs> so basically, just cover the whole circumference of the hat. Focus on the front. Focus on the scripture, but also don't put it on high, especially if it's a lighter color, because it might damage the hat. It didn't really dry all the way, so I'm gonna leave it overnight. I'll catch you in a bit. Hmm, whoa, let's look at this hat. Looks good, all right. It's getting dry, looks good, feels nice. All right, let's take it off. Let's also just get something clear. I'm not a Dolphins fan at all. I'm a Padre Chargers Aztecs collector. If you have anything San Diego, let me know. Also follow me on Instagram at PJMon3. I sell and collect vintage, so don't be afraid to ask or offer or even sell me your hats. All right, so we try this on. Fits all right, a lot better than before. Wish it was Chargers or Aztecs, but you know, whatever. 